hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Tesh and today we are going to create another product model in Maya so in our last video we did a pump bottle and today we are going to create this dropper and uh, the procedure would be similar to our last tutorial but this one is uh, transparent so we are going to create a glass material for this or we can use a default one which comes with Arnold so I'm going to start with the bottle here so i'm going to take a cylinder i'm going to place it here and change the radius like this and pull this up till here and these ones till here go to wireframe mode and to create this curve i'm going to go to edge mode and select this edge then bevel and add some segments like this now go to face mode and uh, i'm going to delete these faces and select this edge then extrude or maybe scale it down a little bit first then extrude extrude one more time to create this segment and one last time till here and for this part i'm going to select it and uh, extrude add some thickness and to create that roundness what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two and bevel and add some segments like this and uh, for here again i'm going to select this go to front view turn down the fraction like this and uh, First, I'm going to remove the triangles and turn these uh, tries to core polygons and then we will add the supporting edges. So for that, I'm going to select all these edges and delete, take multi cut tool and I'm going to connect these words like this. and one final connection like this and we're done now let's add some supporting edges so i'm going to press 3 and see how it looks when we smooth it so i think i'll take multi cut tool and add some loops here like this and i think it looks good maybe few more loops here all right so now to add thickness i'm going to extrude it and add a little bit of thickness maybe something like this and i'm going to reverse the normal so go to mesh display and reverse and uh, i'm going to select these edges bevel Turn the chamfer off to add the supporting edge and see if it looks better. 
so this looks good we just need to add few edge loops here and we are good to go now let's create the dropper and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to take another cylinder place it here and i'm going to turn on this round cap and uh, increase the subdivisions of the cap like this and uh, reduce the radius to match this part and maybe add a subdivision in the height i'm going to delete these faces down here and uh, pull this edge down then press shift and extrude it like this and uh, extrude it down one more time like this and uh, now we need to intrude it so i'm going to press shift and scale it down and then scale it like this maybe a little bit more like this go to front view wireframe mode and pull this up like this extrude one more time to create the dropper maybe this is a little too smaller so i'm going to scale it just a little bit and then extrude and i think this is fine and i'm going to extrude these edges then use merge edges to center and to create that roundness part i'm going to bevel this like this and increase the fraction a little bit and uh, we need a hole here so i'm going to go to face mode select these faces and delete and now we need to detach these faces i'm going to select all this and i'm going to extract faces and we are done with this now these two are separate parts of this dropper so for this I'm going to extrude it just a little bit like this and uh, select these edges and uh, for these i'm going to repeat the same thing now let's add some supporting edges here so i'm going to select this part and bevel turn on the chamfer and repeat the same thing on all the other edges like this
and as you can see that we have a little bit of curve here so i'm going to select this bevel add some segments like this and for this again bevel turn the chamfer off and let's see how it looks so everything looks good and as for these faces i'm going to select these faces like this press ctrl e and turn off keep faces together add a little bit of offset then again one more time add a little bit of offset and intrude like this and uh, i'm going to pull these down and these ones up and then take multi cut tool and add some loops like this scale these make them straight and now we have this carving like effect here so i think this looks good so we are going to create a material but before that we have to create this uh, label part so i'm going to go to front view go to face mode and select all these faces and maybe deselect a few on the back like this and then duplicate face now we have all these parts here i'm going to select everything edit delete by type history go to outliner and i'm going to ungroup and ungroup all these select everything again go to edit delete by type history and rename so this is the bottle this one is label and this is dropper head or whatever you want to name it And this one is dropper pipe. So let's create the materials for them. I'm going to select this one, add new material, Arnold standard surface, rename it as glass. And I'm going to go to preset in the glass and replace this material to glass and we're going to do the same thing with the dropper so i'm going to assign the same material as glass here like this and for this we need rubber so i'm going to go to assign new material go to arnold standard surface and let's see if it has a rubber so we have it down here replace it and you can change the color in here like this and as for this one i'm going to assign new material go to arnold standard surface and i'm going to increase the diffuse roughness and the specular roughness all the way to one and uh, i think i'll just leave it like this rename it as rubber and this one as label and as for the lighting uh, i already showed you how to set up your lighting setup in the last tutorial 
you can use the same scene and drop this model into that scene and render it again on the same settings so i'm not going to show you how to set up your lights in this one you can go back to that video and check that out i'll drop the link in the description and also you can click on the i button uh, that will show you the same video as well so i'll just quickly import my model to that scene and start rendering so i set up my lighting and uh, take out a render and this is the final result that came out and it looks pretty good with few more tweaks and uh, some changes in the render settings it could get better so that's pretty much it for today and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching